Hey, it's Henry from ExceptionalMarketer.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about a topic that is discussed uh, quite thoroughly in both the Success Challenge and in the Affiliate Marketing Academy. And that is a question that I hear all the time. I get this asked a lot. And the question is, paid traffic versus free traffic. Which should I use? Which is better? And the answer really is, it depends, because there are times when paid traffic is a good thing to use the best thing. And there are times when free traffic is the best thing. There are really pros and cons to both of them. So my purpose here today is to go over the pros and cons of each method. And at the end of this video, I've got a tip for you, which I think will help you a great deal, regardless of what type of traffic you're running. So let's first talk about paid traffic. Now, the benefit of paid traffic is that you can get very, very fast results with paid traffic. Basically, you construct your ad, you pay, you run your ad, and you get results immediately, if not sooner. You can get results right away. Now, that's good, and especially if you've got a campaign that's a winner. If you've got a campaign that's returning a high ROI, you can basically scale that campaign up simply by spending more money if you choose. Now, there really is no limit to this because let's say you're spending a dollar and you're making back two dollars every time you run an ad, you would want to spend as much money as you possibly could because you're making a profit every time you spend a dollar. So with paid tra traffic, you can, you can uh, scale up very, very quickly. Now, what are the cons to paid traffic? Well, con number one is paid traffic is just that. You have to pay for the traffic, which means that you have to have a budget available to pay. Now, I've heard different estimates. I've heard some people say you shouldn't do paid traffic unless you have a thousand or two thousand dollars, which you should expect to lose. And that is because paid traffic is not passive traffic. With paid traffic, you have to monitor it. You have to sit on it like a mother hen. You have to constantly monitor it and see what your returns are. If something is working very well, you may want to scale it up. You have to see what's not working so well, and you may either want to make adjustments or you may want to kill the ad altogether. You also have to do quite a bit of split testing until you can find what works the best. And all that costs money up front. Now, so this is really not passive. Also, with paid traffic, you must know your numbers. Because let me give you an example. Let's say that a client yields you $30. Every time you get a client and you have a successful uh, transaction, you make $30. But if it costs you $50 to acquire that client, then you're losing money. And what happens is every time you get a new client, you're losing more money. So you need to know your numbers. If you're only making $30 for a client, you can't spend more than $30 to acquire that client. Now, one thing you can do with paid traffic is what's called a self-liquidating offer or a tripwire offer. And what that is, is that up front, when you first meet your new customer, you can introduce them to a very inexpensive product. For example, you can sell them an ebook at maybe $7. Now, this type of a purchase is really more of an impulse type of a purchase because people don't have to think a long time if they want to spend $7. You know, either they're going to buy it or they're not going to buy it. If they see value, there's a good chance they'll buy it because they don't see it as a huge expenditure that's going to put a dent in their budget. But with the self-liquidating offer, what you hope to do is liquidate the cost of your advertising. You hope to at least make enough money back that you can break even on your advertising. Because what happens if you can accomplish that is that you now got an email subscriber for free. You've had, you might have spent $1,000 in ads and maybe you made $1,000 back. But even if you didn't make $1,000, if you only made 500, you still reduced your advertising cost by 500. So there is room for these self-liquidating offers or tripwire offers to help mitigate the cost of your ads. So that basically is paid advertising. Now, 
On the other side, you have free or organic advertising. And what that is, is something that doesn't cost you money. Now, it's not really free because it does, it is going to cost you time and effort. But organic traffic is things like blog posts, uh, Facebook uh, posts, uh, Facebook group posts, YouTube videos, Pinterest posts, all these different things which are free of charge, but they do cost you time to create the content. Now, the, the, the drawback to free traffic is that you have no control over it. First of all, if you're doing a blog post, it may take you weeks or months or even years to get indexed, to get ranked, so people see it. You have no you have no way to get it in front of your audience. Once it's out there, it's out of your control. You can do things like you know SEO adjustments to get it ranked, but by and large, it's out of your control. The other thing is that if you have a winner, there's no way you can scale it up. The only thing you can do is if you've got a winner on some type of blog post or a YouTube video, is do more of the same. Because if it's a winner and some people are attracted to it, if you do more and more of the same, chances are more and more people are going to be attracted to it. But this is a very slow process. Now, it's much more passive than paid traffic because once you put out a blog post or a YouTube video, it just sits there. It's there forever. It can be seen years down the road. So from that respect, it is somewhat passive, but you cannot control it. So that's going to take you a long time to get where you want to go. Now, one thing you can do with uh, with organic traffic is repurpose the traffic. And what I mean by that is take the same content and put it on any different number of traffic sources. For example, if you've got a blog post, you could take the blog post, you can put it on an article directory and get it out there and share it on numerous, numerous other websites. You can take that uh, blog post, you can create a YouTube video from it. You can create Facebook posts from it. You can create a podcast from it, if you go that way. So you can now take one piece of content and you can have it out there as in multiple different ways, all bringing you in traffic from different sources at basically no additional cost. So that's one of the things you can do with free content to kind of multiply your efforts. Now, I did want to give you a tip that can help you out terrifically. And that tip is called retargeting your traffic. Now, what retargeting means is that when somebody comes to your content or your to, to your website or to your landing page, you want to keep that person. You never want to waste a visitor. And the way you can do that is by putting pixels on those pages which collect the visitor's name, the visitor's email, whatever it is, you can build an audience of the people who came to visit your pages. Now, you can then go back and market to them. Now, why is this beneficial? Well, for example, let's say you're running paid ads and you spend money to get 1,000 visitors to your opt-in page or wherever you want to send them. Of the 1,000 people that show up, you have a very, very good opt-in rate. You get 30% of those people who opt in. So that's good. But on the other hand, 70% of the people who saw your content clicked away from it. Now, they could have been interrupted by a phone call. The baby could have started crying. Somebody came to the door. as any and all sorts of different explanations for why they didn't follow through. But you've lost that 70%. But with retargeting, you can now go back to those very same people. These are people who already showed an interest in what you're promoting. So there's already an interest there. They raised their hand and said, I'm interested. So now you can go back to them and re-offer them what you did in the first place. Remind them that they saw it. Show them your sales page again, your promotion creatives, and hopefully get them at this point to re-engage with you. The advantage of retargeting traffic, now it is paid traffic, but the advantage is that it is much, much cheaper than what you would have paid for originally for the traffic. So when you retarget, you can get back in front of the same people, but you can do it at a much lower cost. So you never want to waste a visitor 
regardless of the type of traffic that you're running, and you always want to retarget that visitor. So if the content of this video has been helpful to you, please click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, as you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which I do on a regular basis. You can also click the first link in the menu below. You'll be taken to a free webinar that gives you a whole new slant on internet marketing and affiliate marketing. It's something you've never seen before, and it's extremely very, very successful. So it's a free webinar. You've got nothing to lose to click on that first link. In the meantime, I will see you on my next video. And until then, best of luck.